Hi, welcome back in phonology class. So this is the second meeting of phonology class. We will discuss sound and place of articulations, and um, we focus on consonant. It's not a game. It's a red okay, we have. Three things to discuss first. They are voice, voiceless, and nasal. Start from voice. So if you put your finger in your Adam's apple or your voice box and you produce the long z, you should feel the vibration. This shows that z, z is a voice sound. However, for voiceless, if you make a very long s, you will not feel the same short like the activity you did uh, when you making sounds. So the s here is voiceless sound. While in nasal, it is like you produce m, n, an, ang. Like you say uh, this word, ram, run. And rang. The volume is lowered, so the air moving up from the lungs must flow through the noise. I hope you can differentiate among voice, voiceless, and nasal. And now continue to more detailed explanations of voice and voiceless. You may see this example to make you clear. For voiceless, we have sound for fat and k for come, p for pit, s for sip, t for ton, ch for chin, th for thick, and sh for pressure. So those are a voiceless sound. And continue to voice sound. We have v for vat. We have g for gum, we have b for bit, we have z for zip, we have d for dund, and we have j for gin, we have the for this, and we have j for pleasure. So those are the voiceless sounds. Okay, I'm talking about manner of articulations. We have stops, so we will discuss stops first. If the active and passive articulations actually touch stopping um, the airflow through the oral cavity completely for a brief period, the sound articulated is a stop. So if you put your lips together to produce P for P, for example, and hold them in that positions, you will feel the buildup of air which is then released when you move from the stopped to the following vowel. Also, when you um, say T, the sound T, and you say K, the sound K, are also the stop sound. Look at the example of stop sound. I have six consonant of stop sound. First, P for pot, happy, and top. We have B for ball, taboo, and rub. We have T sound for telephone, attack, and lute. We have D sound for deer, rudder, and bleed. We have k sound for cow, peking, and wake. And the last we have g sound for goose, ago, and flag. So um, those are the stop sound for consonants. Okay, here I have um, six sound which 
involves in a fricative sounds and also the determinations of uh, the sound which is they are voice or voiceless so we start from first sound this is a voiceless and v for voiced th this is a voiceless th it's voiced s is voiceless z it is voiced sh that is a voiceless j it's voiced and h for voiceless sound so those are a fricative sound for example you say five you have sound at the beginning so that's a fricative sound or you may say size you have s and z as the consonant that's also a fricative sound which is voiceless or you may say judge you have j that's also fricative sound which is um voiced okay go on to a proximant well it's kind of partial block of air or vowel like so here i have five consonant including to the approximant we have w for wall we have j for yellow we have r for room we have al for love we have all for hell. So those are the approximate examples. If we have talked about um, voice, voiceless, or nasal, or it is a kind of stop sound, fricative, or approximate sound, and here the place of the articulations. So in which positions, in which area in our mouth we produce the sound. We have labial for the blue color, so it's like lips and also the front side of our teeth. And we have dental, that's uh, the back side of our teeth and also the tip of our tongue. And we have palatal, that's uh, the sound produced from the middle of our tongue and also the palatum in our mouth. And the last is velar. That's from dorsa and our ovula. For labial part, we have p, b, f, b, and m. For dental part, we have t, d, th, th, and n. For palatal, we have k, g, x. Y and N. And for valor, we have K, G, X, J, and N. For example, for labial, when you produce P, so your lower lips and upper lips, they touch each other. So that's what we call um, labial part. You say P, P, happy, P put peace and so on okay so this is like the summary of sound and place of articulations we discussed before so when you say p sound it's kind of stop sound which is voiceless and it's from labial part when you produce b sound this is also stop sound which is voiced and also from labial. When you say sound for five, so this is sound, this is voiceless, it's kind of fricative sound, and it's from labiodental. But for v sound, it is voiced, but still fricative sound, and also from labiodental. When you produce the sound it's interdental but this is voiceless and not still fricative 
for the sound, it's fricative, voiced, and from interdental. You have also t sound, that stop sound, and voiceless, and it's from alveolar. For d sound, it stops, it's voiced, and from alveolar. For s sound, it's fricative, voiceless, and alveolar. And for z sound, it's fricative, voiced, and from alveolar also. Um, I think you can read by yourself uh, the table of place articulation and also um, sound here. Which one is stop, fricative, affricative, or nasal? Which one is voice, voiceless? And from which uh, place of articulations that the sound uh, produced? Okay, I think that's it for this meeting. Hope you can get uh, the idea of sound and also the place of articulations. And don't forget to check the description box below because you have exercises that you have to do and send me by email and i'll see you next week for another discussions thank you for watching